Welcome everybody! With this video, I'm starting a series of tutorials about making shaders in Unity. I hope it will be useful for you. First, in order to make our own shader, we need to understand what ShaderLab is. ShaderLab is a language specific to Unity. It has several purposes. Make it easier to embed shaders in Unity. Set the shader's behavior and help you with compatibilities management. The part written with the ShaderLab language acts like a wrapper. We need to respect the structure. Let's see this in more detail. The first section is the properties one. It is optional. It is used to make some properties appear in the Unity's Material Inspector. Then, these values can be tuned from Unity's scene and used in the shader. Here's how to do it. First, choose a variable name. Then, a message to display in the inspector. Define the type of the variable. Finally, set a default value. Several kinds of properties can be used. A texture, a float, a range, or a color. There are other possibilities, but this is sufficient at this moment. Then, you need to define a subshader section. It will contain your shadow code. You can create several subshaders. Unity will pick the first subshader that can run on the user's graphic card, thereby you are able to write multiple versions of your shader to manage with compatibility issues. Inside a subshader section, you have to create one or more pass sections. The pass section makes the object render once. If you had another pass, it will be rendered twice and so on. In this section, you can manage the behavior of some graphic cards functions like the curl, the blend, or the z-buffer. Our shader code that will be executed by the graphic card will be put between two keywords, CG program and NCG. Finally, we can add a fallback. If any of the subshader above can be executed by the graphic card, you can give the name of a shader to use instead. In this case, I will use the shader called Diffuse. Here we have the shell of our shader. I put some useful links in the description about ShaderLab if you want to go further details. Feel free to share, reuse, modify or distribute this video without any credits. Next time, we will write our first vertex shader. Thanks for watching, see you next time.